Good day, viewers. You welcome to another edition of Subject Maths. Today we'll be talking about bearing and distance. So let's check out what we have here. Now, bearing is a very important topic when it comes to mathematics due to its applicative nature. Now, for example, people like um, the pilots, sailors, soldiers, they make use of what bearing a lot. So its application is very, very wild, wild in our world environment. So bearing helps in making what navigation easy. So for those people traveling, those people that could read, read the compass perfectly, they make use of bearing. So if your pilot doesn't know how to use his or her bearing correctly, you might get lost in the air. <laughs> okay, now we have different types of bearing. Now we have the compass bearing and we have the three digit bearing. Now, talking about compass bearing, the concept of compass bearing is centered around our what? Around our, what? our cardinality. When I say cardinality, or rather around our cardinal. So when I talk about when I'm talking about the cardinals, I'm talking about the four cardinals. That is the north, the south, the west, and the east. So our compass bearing is what centered around the four cardinals. Now let's take examples to explain what I mean by those terms. So here, talking about our cardinals, now this is our four main cardinals. Now, we have our northeast, we have here our southeast, our what? southwest, and our what? northwest. So this these cardinals makes navigation easy, and this cardinal here is a type of uh, is kind of bearing which we call our compass bearing. So, example: if I say, if I say, uh -huh, east fifty degrees what? East 50 degrees what? North. Now look at this. If I say it's that means this particular thing is found what? In my northeast. So what happens here? East, this is our north. Mm -hmm. When I say 50 degrees, 50 degrees should be found around here. So this is our what? This is from here to here. From here to here, this is our what? East what? 50 degrees north. Now this is what, what your compass bearing is what, all about. Now, please, your, your north pole will always what indicate. Always indicate your north pole with an arrow. This is how it is done in the compass. So your north pole should always be what? Indicated using an arrow. Okay. Now look at this. South. 30 degrees east. Now this is my pole. This is my north pole. This is my south pole. Uh -huh. This is my east. This is my, my west. So they said what? South, uh -huh. 30 degrees east. So towards the east, that is what? Let's say this. So from here you look at it to here. And this is it. South. 30 degrees east. But here, look at this one. This one here says south, south, 55 degrees west. Okay, this is my pole, my north pole, my south. Talking about my west, and this is my one. So they say 55 degrees. So you will get it. Let's say 55 degrees so from to this point. So that is what? South, 55 degrees West. So now this is all, or this is about your compass bearing. So let's go forward to what we call the three digit bearing. So talking about the three digit bearing, so the three digit bearing starts, you say, uh, it's a digit, starts what? From the north only. Now I have my, my representation here. So my three digit bearing starts only from the north. Anything that goes after the north or outside the north is not a three-digit bearing. 
it starts only from this point, which is what the rod. Okay? And it rotates in a clockwise direction. That means your, your tree goes like this in a clockwise direction. Now, anything that goes at the clockwise can trade this. It's not a three-digit what bearing. So and the three-digit bearing is between what the four quadrant. So let's talk about the four quadrant. I'm talking about from zero to three sixty. Yeah, which is your from here to here 90, 180, 270, uh, then what three sixty. So the th the three digit bearing is between zero to three sixty. Let's take an example. We have our knot here. We have about 50, 50 watts degrees. So from here to here is what? 50 degrees. So we'll call it what? 50 degrees. So this is 150 degrees. Okay, this is our knot. Now, what does our 150 fall? This is 90. It's 150 should fall under here. Okay, so this is your what? 150 degrees. Now, finally, we have what? 300 and what? 15 degrees. Now this is your what? 0, 90, 180, 270. Now your 350 should be around here. Should be around here. So your bearing takes this position. That becomes what? 315, 315 degrees. So this is how your three digit bearing works. Now, look at, looking at this question, why 1997 question number 14? He said, express the true bearing of 250 degrees as a compass bearing. Now, we have my knot, 250 degrees, okay? We have my south, we have our west, and we have the what? The east. Okay, so this is 90, uh -huh, 180, 270. That is, 250 is around here. So 250 is around here. Right? So, take it what, to this position. To 250 but now they ask us to express it as a what as a compass bearing now so let's find this place from since from here to here is 180 and from here to here we don't know so we can say 250 degrees minus 180 degrees that's going to give us what 70 degrees now, since this place is 70 degrees now what is the cardinal between these two points. What is the cardinal between these two points? We have south, we have what? West. So this becomes south 70 degrees, then what? West. And that is what we have as our final answer, and that is your D. South 70 degrees west. So 250 degrees as a compass bearing gives you this okay so going further here now we said find the bearing of what south 40 degrees east is the same as what a what okay let's take convert this to what three digits bearing so we'll have our what our north here south we have our west and we have our what east now they say this is what south the head south 40 degrees east south 40 degrees east should give us this 40 degrees what east that is what 40 what degrees what east now since we have this and we're supposed to convert this from what to what three digits and don't forget, our bridge starts from what? Not only. So we have to find what this. So looking for this, what are we going to do? Now, since from here to here is a right angle. So this becomes 90, let's call here 5. 
90 is equal to what? 5 plus 40. Okay? So, 5 here is equal to 90 minus 40 degrees. So, that becomes, uh -huh, your 5 here becomes 50 what, degrees. But that's not what the end to this particular question. Because since we don't come here to be 50 degrees, now since here is 90, so 90 plus what? 5. So what? As what 40 degrees east, south 40 degrees is the same thing as what? 90 plus, plus 5. That is equal to 90 plus what? 50. That is equal to 140 degrees. With that, we now have our final answer here to be D. Now, going to something a little bit more technical, I used for question said that if P, Q, and R are points such that the bearing of Q from P is 300, 300 what degrees, the bearing of what of Q from P. Now, this, this is our P. Let's say this is our P. This is bearing. And they said, what well, is the MP? Now, the bearing of what? Q from P. For we're using three digits. Is what? 300. So, that's our 300 should be around here. Let's make a diagram a little bit bigger. 300. So, our 300 should be around here. To a point Q, it's 300 what degrees. Now they say what, and the bearing of what R from P, bearing of R from P is 120. Okay, it's 120. So if this is the 120 should be around here, is what? This one is what? 120. Okay, to what? To a point, what? R. This is our R. We have our point R here. We have our point here. So, don't forget it's 120 degrees. We have it here. They said what? Find the bearing of Q. Find the bearing of Q from point R. I'm looking for the bearing of Q from this point R. So, what are we simply doing? Are simply what looking for the value of this place back to this word place. That is what we are simply looking for. Now, since this is the line that I brought what this is the only line that can connect Q. So we we'll have to trace it back to this line. But now we have to what, have full understanding of what we are treating here. Now, this is 90 degrees. So since from here to here is 300, sorry, from here to here. Is 300 from here to here is what 120. So what does what is the value of this place? What is the value of it? so the value of this particular angle here becomes what becomes 120 minus what minus 90 degrees. So with 120 minus what 90, which is your what your 30. Degrees, we have our 30 degrees here. Now, look at this. We have an, we have what, an alternate angle here to give us what? 30 degrees. So, pay close attention. Since this place is 30 and this is a transversal, these two lines are what? Are parallel. These two lines are parallel and they have a transversal, so we have what? An alternate what angle. So from here, this first quadrant here is 90. The second quadrant here is 90. This third quadrant here is 90. And this small part here is what? 30. So the bearing, the bearing, the bearing of of Q from R of Q from R. Will be given, it will be given by what? Yes, 90, 90, 90. That is what? 90 plus 90 plus 90 
plus 30. 90 plus 90, 180, 180 plus 90, 270, 270 plus 30, that is equal to what? 300 degrees. 300 degrees, and our final answer here is E. Now, going further, we have a question here that says a bearing of a point A from a point B is 42. The bearing of a point A from a point B, so the bearing started from point B, from point B, is what? 42 degrees. So if I say 42 degrees, this is my 42 degrees. It's 42 degrees, okay? Okay, okay. It was 2 degrees to a point what? A. This is my point A. This is my not. Now they said, well, calculate the bearing of what? Calculate the bearing of what? B. Calculate the bearing of B from this point A. So what they asked us to do? They asked us to calculate what? This. Now this is a NECO question 2010, question number 49. So calculating this, first and foremost, okay, if this is 42, now, don't forget, I explained that this is a transversal. This line here is a transversal. So, now what? Alternate angle. So, this is also 42 degrees. So, here is 90. Here is 90. And this is uh, what? 42. So, the bearing. The bearing of. Uh -huh, of B from A is so what is it what well, what 90 plus 90 plus 42 so that gives us what our total answer which is 222 degrees okay so there are two exercises here we would like you to do so practice this exercise they have their answers so once you get your answers, then we are ready to what, go further. If you don't get your answers, please try when you come to practice and get your answers. The answers are the ones circled in red. I will have a question here. So here, a village Y is 15 kilometers from a point X on a bearing of 25 degrees. Now, if I have my village here, that I'm starting from X. Take it again. A village Y is what 15 kilometers from X, a point X, on a bearing of 25 degrees. So if I should take my bearing of 25, so 25 will give me here. So take it. Take the 25. To this point, okay. I'm taking my 25 degrees, so not for that. 25 degrees to another point. To another point, what? Why? Another point, what? Why? That's this point here is what? Why? Okay. Proceeding, they say what? Another village Z is 20 kilometer from X. Don't forget, this one is 15 kilometer. 15 what? Kilometers. So another village. So, which is what? 15 kilometer. And they said what? Another village Z is 20 kilometers from X on a bearing of 115. 90. So 115 should be around here. 20 kilometer on a bearing of what? 115. Let's take it. 115 degrees. To point here. This point here is what? X, right? Okay, this point here is Z. Now, at this junction, what did they, what will we ask to find? They asked us what? Calculate what the distance YZ. So this is the distance here YZ. Now, without doing, now let us find what the internal what angle. Now, from here, to here is 25 degrees. Why right from here to here is what? 115. So the internal angle here becomes 
what's our internal angle? Our internal angle here becomes what? The internal angle becomes 115 minus 25 degrees. That is equal to what? 90 degrees. So therefore, this is what? The right angle. It is a what? The right angle. 90 degrees. Now, if it's a right angle, then for us to find yz, you can find yz using Pythagoras. Using what? Pythagoras. And Pythagoras says, uh -huh, since this is my hypotenuse, since that's my hypotenuse, that is what? h squared is equal to o squared plus, plus a squared. And this is my Pythagoras formula. Since I don't know here, this is my h squared. It's equal to my O square here, that's 15 square plus my A square, which is what? 20 square. So H square here is equal to 15 square is going to give us what? 225 plus 20 square is going to give us what? 400. So H square here is equal to 400 plus what? 225. That would give 625. So if my square comes over, it turns to square root. So H is equal to square root of what? 625. So square root of 6 to 5 is going to give us what? 25 what? Kilometer. Therefore, the distance of y and z is equal to what? 25 kilometer. And that is what? Our final answer for that particular question. Now, look at this question. A boat sails 24 kilometer from a port X on a bearing of 65. So if this is my okay x, so a boat sails what 24 kilometers on a bearing of what 65 degrees. So 65 degrees, okay. This let's let's take it with my toaster. 65 degrees. 65 degrees is going to go in up. So can use that position. So this is it. X. So it sails with what. Uh, 64 degrees, which is going to be, let's take it again, so 64 degrees, this is our 64 degrees, 0, sorry, 65 what degrees, okay, now, what's the distance for what, 24 kilometer, okay, now, on the bearing of, okay, and therefore, 10 kilometer on a bearing of so going further I said what therefore 10 kilometer on a bearing of what 155 so after getting to this position it continued what its journey continue its journey okay don't forget this hour not on a bearing of what 100 and what 55 what degrees so 155 degrees is going to be around here how many kilometer? 10 kilometer. So for 10 kilometer, so what? To what? Another distance here. So now they ask us, so what is the distance of the goal? Now this current distance of the goal, so what is the distance from what? X. So we are asked to find what? This particular what? Distance. So with this, now let us suppose it. Don't forget this is a what? This line here is a what a transversal so these two lines are parallel so this is what alternate angles so this becomes what 065 degrees so from here to here is 180 if from here to here is 180 now I will not have here as what 150 so this becomes what angle in a straight line that's 180 minus what minus your what your what? 155 degrees. 155 so that's going to give us what? 25 degrees. So summing these two angles, which is going to give us what? 90 degrees. 65 degrees plus what? Plus 25. That's going to give us 90 degrees. So with this, this is a what? A right angle triangle. So we can now what? Evaluate. So in this right angle triangle. Hypotenuse square is equal to opposite square plus what? Adjacent square. So we're going to have our hypotenuse here. That's our h square is equal to opposite here. That's what? 10 square plus what? 
our what? adjacent, that is what? 24 squared. So h squared is equal to oh, 10 squared, that's going to give us 100 plus 24 squared, that's going to give us 576. So h squared here is equal to 10 plus 100 plus 576, so that is going to give us what? 676. So because of our square, it comes over, it changes to square root. So h is equal to square root of what? 676. That is still equal to 26 what? What's the unit? Kilometer. 26 kilometers. So our final answer, or rather the distance from S, from the current position of the boat, to what? X, which is the origin of the journey, is what? A distance of 26 kilometers. So with that, we've come to the end of that particular question. Here, we're having a recent question from what? GCE. Now, the question here says, a ship sails 5 kilometers due west. Solution, Mahabal. So this is the north, our south, west, and east. So they say, a ship sails 5 kilometers due west. Okay, this is what? Five kilometers due what west, and then seven kilometer due south. So, getting to this point, due south, it continues its journey seven kilometers. Don't forget, this is five kilometer. This is what seven what kilometer due what south. Okay, so getting to this position. What next? But in this position, due south, then say what? Find correct nearest degree. It's bearing from the original position. So let's connect. Connecting this part. Okay? We've connected. So this is a right angle triangle. So first and foremost, let us know what the distance. The person asks us to find what? The what? Origin. Okay, they said what? Correct to there is a green, it's bearing from what the origin. So, what I want to find what to find what? The bearing from this what? Place. Now, looking for the bearing now, there are things we need, there are parameters we need. First and foremost, let us find the what? Looking for uh -huh, the distance. So, looking for a distance, now using Pythagoras. So that is h square is equal to o square plus a square. So h square we don't know. h square here is equal to o square. That is what five square plus what seven square. So this becomes that our h square is equal to twenty five plus forty nine. So our h square here is equal to seventy seventy four. So our h Okay, that's squared on both sides. So this comes with h here is equal to what? Root 74 what? Root 74 kilometers. Now getting this, we now have this particular place to what? Root 74 kilometers. If you use your calculator, it's going to give you another, it's going to give its value in decimal. So having here as root 74 kilometers, then we can now what? Proceed. So proceeding, what are we going to do next? What are we to do next? What are we to do next? So, now since we found here, for us to know the BN, we have to know what this internal angle is. We have to know what this internal angle is. Because if you don't know this internal angle, we will not be able to what, find the value of this place. So now what this internal angle is, we need to use what the sine formula. Sine formula says that sine A is equal to what? Sine B, capital letter B over, is equal to sine C over capital C over small c. So this is the angle. So sine what theta over is equal to we have we have this okay sine ninety degrees over what root seventy four. So at this junction we we'll cross multiply. So sine ninety is going to give us or you can press your calculator to confirm that. So 90 is going to give us 1. So at this junction, we we'll cross multiply. This gives us what? Sin theta root 74 is equal to sin 90, which is 1. 1 times 7, that's what? 7. 
So the Bible said by what? Root 74. Root what? 74. We have root 74 cancel root 74. If it cancels out, you let me wipe here to find space to be able to explain better. So this is now what? Sine what? Theta is equal to what? 7 over what? Root 74. If you want to rationalize, you can rationalize easily as root 74 multiplied by what? Root 74. So here your sine theta is equal to 7 times root 74. That's 7 root 74. If I root 74 times root 74, that will give you root 74 squared. And your square can cancel this. So at this junction, your theta is equal. If your sine comes over, it becomes what? Sine inverse of what? 7 root 74 over what? 74. So, evaluating that, what's it going to give us? What's it going to give us? You can use your calculator to find that, which is going to be what? Shift, then you press your sign, that will give you what? Sign inverse. So, we have you put 7 root 74. Aha. Uh -huh. 774, that's going to give us, that is it. your theta here will now be equal to what? 54.46. So if your theta here is now what? 54.46 what? degree. Now let us find this external angle. Getting its external angle, which is easier now. But if we get the external angle, we'll be able to what? Find our value of what? Theta. Or our what? Sorry. We'll be able to find our, our bearing very easily. Okay, so at this junction, this is a right angle triangle. Let's get the value of this small position. If this value of this, this is what? 90 minus theta. Yeah, your theta is this, so 90 minus that's going to give us what? 35.54. Point, point what? So now the bearing of what? The bearing from its original position, that is this. That's going to give us what? From, this is 80 degrees. This is what? 90. 90 then plus it. That is what? 90 degrees plus 90 degrees plus what? 35.54. Four degrees. That is going to give us a total of two one five what five four degrees. But what does the question say? The question said correct to the nearest what to the nearest degree. So nearest degree. This now approaches two one six degree in the what in the nearest degree. So we now have this here as our final answer. Now, looking at this, we said from a point R, 300 meter north of P, that is my P is down here, and my R is 300 meter north of P, so I will have our R up here, 300 meter up, meters above, this is our R, 300 what, meters Okay, so so they said a man walks due east. Now this is our east to a place Q. A man walks to a place Q. We have here Q. We have here what P. We have our R. Uh -huh. He walks down here to a place what Q, which is 60 meter, 600 meters far from P. This is our P. The Q has a distance of 600 what, meters far from P. So, what is the bearing of P? What is the bearing of P from Q? What is the bearing of P from Q? Which is what? This. Now, this is easy, but before that, we have to know this internal angle. So, before we know the internal angle, now we have to solve for what? We have to solve for this. This is going to work. help us determine the internal angle. What is this place? Theta. So if here is theta, what is the relation? We have here as we have here as our opposite. 
Okay, before, before that, look at this. We have this relation, we have this. Let's use these two relations to find what the internal what angle. So you see these two relations, that's going to be what? Cos. Cos what? That is what? Cos theta here is going to give us what? 300 over what? 600. So we can I reduce this? 0 times 2, 0. 0 times 2, 0. So 3 here, 1. 3 here, 2. So cos theta here is equal to what? 1 over 2. So it being 1 over 2 there, okay, it being 1 over 2 there, we cannot proceed. And theta here is equal to cos inverse of 1 over 2. So your theta is equal to cos inverse of 1 over 2. That is going to be what? 60 degrees. So I'm not counting here as 60. If here is 60, now we cannot go further. Here is 60 degrees. Don't forget, this is a transversal. I explained this earlier. This is a transversal. This is a parallel line. So what? 60. So if here is what 60 degrees, then here is what 60 degrees. So from here to here is what 180. So the bearing, bearing for Q to P is going to be what? Uh huh. 180 plus what 60. That is equal to what 240 degrees. And that is very easy. That's the answer to that question that came out in WEC 2018, question number 18. Now, so still on this, now we have a question here. The question says in the diagram, now we have the diagram already, A and B are two parts. Okay, we have what? A and B are two parts apart. Okay, two parts, two parts, 15 kilometers apart. So, 15 kilometers apart. Okay, part B is, a, is on a bearing. Part B is to the bearing of 94 degrees. It has been illustrated here from A. And C is a ship on the sea. Okay, this is the sea. So, the ship is seen from A. The ship is seen from A on a bearing of 150, meter, 150 degrees. So the ship is seen from A, this is A, at what? At 150 degrees. From what? 150 and B and B from a bearing of what? 200 and what? 245 degrees. Now, calculate, correct one decimal place the distance of the ship from A. So this is the ship. Calculate for the distance from here to here. Now, before we calculate the distance, we have to what? put so many things in place. Putting so many things in place, I mean, there are so many things we should know. For example, let's fill, it, let's fill up. Okay. If, okay, okay. Let's see, let's see. So if from here to here is 150, then what will be this smaller place? This will be what? 180. 180 minus 150 because angle in the straight line is 180. So from here to here is 150. So 180 minus 150 that will give us 30 degrees. So if here is 30 degrees, since this these two lines are what? Since these two lines are what? Parallel lines, I will have a transversal. So we we'll have here as what? 30 degrees. Now going further. We we'll have to find what the internal value of this particular place. Okay, so this becomes this is what from here from this position to this place is two hundred and forty-five. So since here is what one eighty, this becomes what two hundred and forty-five minus one eighty, and that will give us a value of sixty-five. And so this place here is what sixty-five. Degrees. So if here is 65, then here too is what? 65 degrees. Now, how many here are 65? We've been able to what? 
So what I want to say is 65 plus plus what 30 degrees. That's going to give us what the total angle of what 95 degrees. 95 degrees here. But now that's not all to this particular. So going further, now look up here. Pay close attention. So here, this is a right angle triangle. So if here is 90 degrees, now here is 65. So this becomes 90 minus 65. That gives us what? 25 degrees. Now look at from here to here is from here to here is what? 94. And this is a right angle. So 90 minus 94 minus 90 makes here what 4. And here is equal to what? 4. So this is what 25 plus 4, that is what? 29 degrees. So we found what two internal angles. So to get what the distance from A to C, we're going to use sine formula. This becomes sine 29 over what? We don't know the distance. Let's call it AC. It's equal to this particular angle here. That is what? Sine 95 over what? Over 15. So at this junction we can make AC similar to formula. That becomes what? AC sine 95 is equal to what? Sine 29 times 15. So dividing both sides by sine 95. Sine 95. So at this junction, sine 95 cancels. So this becomes that what? AC is equal to sine 29 sine 29 uh -huh, times 15 divided by sine 95 and that will give us a total value of 7.299 what did we say correct to one decimal place so your AC here to one decimal place that is what 7.3 kilometer. So, okay. So now, the last question I said, how far east? How far east is A? How far east is A from C? How far east is A from C? Now look at. Look at the diagram. So we have the identical diagram here. This one is meter than this. This one is the rough sketch. So from there, I just brought out this diagram. All the whole values and everything is still there. So they say, what? How far is A from C? Now let us trace it. How far east? How far east of A is C? So now, this is it. If I ask how far it is, we are talking about from this position to this position. Let's call it from here to here. Let's call it what? M. So how far absolutely means we should find our value of M. Now here is 30 degrees. 30 degrees will be dissected. So here is now 30 degrees. Now here is now what? Okay? So we can either, let's use our 30 degrees to, to solve. Don't forget, in this last question, the question we solved earlier, we found our value of what? This. Okay, so remember when we solved last, we found the value of this place to be 7.3. So we still have here as what? 7.3 kilometer. So we can now solve. Now what is the relation here? We have what? Opposite and we have what? Hypotenuse. So we can use what? Sign. Sine 30 degrees is equal to what? M over 7.3. So this becomes your sine 30, or let's cross multiply. Cross multiplying, M here is equal to sine 30 times 7.3. So M is equal to sine 30 here is what? 1 over 2 times what? 7.3. So M here is equal to 7 times 1. 4.3 times 1 is 7.3 divided by 2. So that becomes your yeah, M here is now equal to 3.65 kilometer. So the question asks how far east of what A is C. So 
the distance between A, the distance is of C to A is equal to what? 3.65 kilometers. Now, picking up this question, so I said three points P, Q, R are in a horizontal plane. Okay? Point Q is on a bearing of 120, so a bearing 120 degrees at a distance of 80 meters from point P. Okay? So, point Q started its origin from point P. So, let's say this is our point P. So, they said point Q is on a bearing of 120. So, this is 90, so 120 should be here. We have our 120 here to mark it. Point what? Q. Okay? And they said the distance from point P to point Q is what? 80 meters. So 80 meters. So the question I'm going for is that point R is on a bearing of 45 degrees. Point, point what? R is on a bearing of what? 45 degrees. So I'm going to pick it up from here. On a bearing of what? 45 degrees. So our 45 degrees is going to stop here. Okay? That is what? To a point R. So on a bearing of what? 45, 45 degrees. So let's take that. 45 degrees. And a distance of 150 meter from point what? Q. Okay, at this junction, let us what? Okay, now they said calculate to correct two significant figures the distance between P and R. This is point P, this is point R. So let's join them. Please, this diagram is not drawn to scale. If I let me increase it a little. The diagram is not drawn to scale, please. The diagram is not drawn to scale. I repeat, the diagram is not drawn to scale. So this is 150. So 150 meter. So this is 80. So can I connect this? Okay. So having this, the answer to what? Calculate correct physical figure distance. So, this distance, this is PR, so it asks us to find this long word value. Now, with this, we have to what? Find its internal angle before we be able to do anything. Its internal angle has to be what? Constant. And that is where our main issues lie. Now, the distance from what? That's what? 120 what? Degrees. Okay? Now, pay close attention. Since it's 120, since this angle here, from here, from here to here, is 120. Now, what is this part left? This part left here is 180, that's angle is straight line minus 120, which is this angle, which give us here, that's 60 degrees. So we have here to be what? 60 degrees. So if here is 60 degrees, if you are 60 degrees, these are what? They are called um, alternate what? Angles. Okay, so going further, if you are 60, now since we have these two, that this angle here is what? 105 degrees. So since so, so we have one eternal angle, we can use your cosine formula. And cosine formula says that what? The cost formula for finding distance. So if you are looking for PR, that becomes PR is equal to is equal to what? P Q square plus what? QR square minus two two R P Q 
2 pq let's proceed with the formula continuous 2 pq qr cos theta now p we don't know this place that's what we are looking for but let us call it what m so this becomes m squared is equal to this pq that's what 80 squared plus what 150 squared uh -huh. minus what 2 times what 80 times 150 cos cos what cos 105 so here yeah, this will come that m square is equal to 80 square that's going to give us 6400 plus plus 150 squared that's 22,500 so the summation of both of them that is what 28,900 okay minus 2 times 180 sorry 2 times 80 times 150 that's 24,000 Open bracket cos cos y zero five is going to be what is going to give us negative because of what one zero five is in the what second quadrant and only sign is positive in the second quadrant so that gives us minus zero point two five eight eight so at this junction m squared is equal to two eight nine zero zero Minus times minus that will give us a plus. So twenty-four thousand plus zero point two five eight eight. Okay, sorry, twenty-four thousand multiplied by zero point two five eight eight. So that's going to give us six two one one point two. So adding it to this, adding it to twenty-eight thousand nine hundred. So we have our answer here to be what our m square, our m is equal to square root of the, of the last square root of 35,000, 35,111.2. So our m here is equal to square root of our answer, square root of our answer is that's going to give us what 18 points what so, oh 187. Point three seven. Now, what, let's see the instruction of the question. The question said correct to two significant figures. That's one to what two significant figures. That is one two. This is up to what five. Round, round up. That's what one nine t meters. So our value of m here is equal to what one hundred and ninety meter. So. Let us digest this. Let's digest this before we want go ahead to solve what the other question. So going further, the question here asks us what uh -huh. the bearing of point the bearing of what point P from point R. So the question asks us to find the bearing of P from R, that is from here. To here. That's what the question asks us to find. Now, but before we find it, we have to know this internal angle. If here is 45, then if here is 45, then here is what is what 45 too. We have to find this internal angle. So, I'm looking for this internal angle, we have to use the sine formula. So, using sine formula, sine formula says that what sine big R over small r is equal to sine angle sine q over small q now what is looking for going for r and that's what sine r over what is our small r 80 is equal to sine 105 over our q here is what 190 so what it was an r cross multiply that is sine r here is equal to 80 times sine 105 divided by 190. So that's sub R here 
is equal to what? 80 times. So, I'm going to divide there. For the time this, it gives you this. So, if you divide by 190, you have this. So, at this juncture, you have to find your R. So, R here is equal to sine inverse. Sine inverse of 0 0.4067. So your sine inverse, so your sine inverse here is equal to your R here is equal to what? 23.99. So your R here is equal to 23.99. As you can put it in here to be what? 23.99 what? Degrees. Now, since they ask you to what? Find I hope I'll permit them to wipe here. So, going further here, they ask us to what? Find the bearing of P from point R. So, since we know, so we're going to add, so the bearing becomes angle of a straight line. That's, this is a straight line. So, this is 180. 180 plus plus 45 plus what? 23.99 So that's going to give us a total of 248.99 degrees But now, don't forget, the question said what? Let me answer in two significant figures so this is one, two, this is up to it. That's, that's 250. So the answer here is about 250 what, degrees in two significant figures. So that's what you have as your what? Your final answer to this particular what? To this particular question. Now this question then went further and said, how far west of R is Q? Now this is what, this is your R, this is your Q, so say how far west is your what, is your R, how far west of R is Q, now this is your Q, let's trace it up, now let's trace it to this position, now trace it to this position, we we'll have what, we we'll now have what, a right angle here, this is a perpendicular height, so I a right angle, so we are asked to find what, this position, this position, so let's call it what, let's call it AR, here is point A, so looking for point AR, so what's the relation, this is opposite, look at, we have an internal angle here already, we have an internal angle here which is what, 45 degrees, so we have what, opposite and what, so we have what, sine, 45 degrees here yeah, is equal to what? AR over what? Over here, which is what? 150, which is your yeah, hypotenuse, which is 150. So, sine 45 is equal to root 2 over 2 is equal to what? AR over what? 150. So, at this junction, cross multiply. This is what? AR times 2 is equal to what? 150 root 2. So divide both sides by 2. 2 cancel 2. So AR here is equal to 150 divided by root 2 over 2. So AR is equal to 2 here 1, 2 in 150, 75 root 2 meters. So how far is what? How far is? How far west of R is Q? That is what 75 root 2 meter. And that is what you have here as your final answer. Okay, so conclusively, we've come to the end of today's class. And I believe you must have learned a lot. So I would like you to review as much as you can review. But it will really, really be necessary. Now, so we have an exercise for you to practice here. So this is the question and its answer is in red. So the question and answer, you just have two questions, practice them. And with that, I believe that's going to do a lot for you. Thank you.